It is time now. I don't know if you guys at home are aware, but the little program that uh, features the Breakfast Show's own Richard Marsland, another program called Get This, has he's going to meet its demise. It's going to end very soon. But there was a rally, a big protest rally, where the people got out and they spoke. And what they were talking about was, in fact, Richard Marsland. Let's take a look at what happened when Leon went down to the Get This rally. <laughs> It's a sad day here, but it's fantastic to see lots of people uh, coming to get behind the um, the only really good show on commercial radio. And and what are your thoughts of forget this? Where sh where should they go next? Um, up upwards and onwards. Uh, probably you know one day if we play our cards right, we could dream the impossible dream and get to Channel 31. But until then, anywhere that'll have us. You probably know who he is if you're watching the show. It's Richard Marsden. How are you, Richard? How are you doing now? Is, is this being played on the show that I'm actually on? It might be. Yeah. Okay. So if I could just say to the Richard who's hosting in the show right now, you're doing a terrible job. This guy's much more suave, this guy's much more professional. Yes, what are you is. doing there? Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm talking to myself. But he's my favourite presenter on The Breakfast Show. So, Emma. Sorry, Leon, I've, we've totally, we've, we've ruined the space-time continuum. We have, we have. <laughs> Alright, I'm joined with, uh, I'm going to say, the creator of Get This, Mr Tony Martin. Tony, how are you? Well, I've been told to say that Richard Marsland is the official creator. I don't know why. Uh, probably for this interview only. Oh, is this going out on his show? It is, actually. You better wind it up quickly. I know he hates it when people eat into his on-air time. Does, does. Uh, Ryan, how does it get this going? Oh, it's terrible. I was actually, actually, I'm a big John Farnham fan. I don't know if anyone knows. And I just got in the car and it was like poetic. It was so poetic because this is no word of a lie. I got in and I put the, uh, the, the CD on. And like it was cued, Every Time You Cry by John Farnham played. And I thought, yeah. To tear up? Every time I see Tony Martin, yeah. I will cry now. So, so um, after Get This Is Finished, what are you going to do? What's, what are you going to do with yourself? Well, it's cruise ships or possibly hospital radio. There's, or Ed knows someone who has an oil rig. And I think a lot of good radio shows go out on oil rigs these days. So that might be the go. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, seeing from the group outside today, any highlights that you've seen? <laughs> it's, all, it's one big highlight. I've never I've seen so many placards with the phrase all me plums written on in my life. We've got every single thing we've ever said on our show has been remembered and then put on a sign today, so it's great. Alright, so how does it feel to come out and see the group of people that you saw supporting your show? That was amazing. I've never seen uh, anything like that for a radio show at all, except for the Late Date show and as a gathering of a different kind. Yep. Less clothes, less of a public scene. Uh, the Late Date Show was a love, sex and relationship show that I did and it was more... Bessie Bardot. Yeah, yeah, with Bessie Bardot. It's basically just a key party is what it was. It had nothing to do with this. Breakfast show, I'm ready. I know Richard's already wide-handed his way in there, but uh, I'm, I, I'm on board. If you need a, a roving... The camera guy. I always need another camera guy. Focus puller? Yeah, that's the one. Best boy? Best boy, grip. Best grip. Uh, I'll only do key grip. Uh, no Turkish. No Turkish grip? No. Okay. Alright, no. All right, I'll see you there. It did, you. How does it pay? Well? None at all. But, you know, it's, it's fun. Brilliant. I work for uh, Peanuts and or Sandwiches here. Any sort of inspirational words to people who maybe want to follow in your footsteps? Uh, if they ask you to play a lot of Toto, play it because there will be trouble if you don't. I don't know what the story is with whoever wrote Africa. There's some elaborate royalty scam going on. But um, yeah, we did have a special contract with Triple M where we were required to play both Africa and Rosanna three times per show, which we just thought was excessive. You know, call us crazy, but there it is. Yeah, you know. Well, we better get going because Richard's coming over and looks pretty angry, so... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty typical. He'll be throwing you through a plate glass window. That's what he's like. And uh, I think the crystal meth problem really has to be addressed at some point. Well, thank you, and I'm going to probably... You can throw it back to yourself if you want. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, if you want, go. Okay, yeah, this will be really exciting. Okay. His own show. I know, it's very strange, and I'm about to... I've got Tony. ...being interviewed to his, uh, for his own program. It's very close There's not enough of Richard in the studio segments. Apparently, he has to be in all the OBs as well. Well, that's the story. That's Throw been back to yourself. Okay, now back to my favourite Channel 31 breakfast show presenter, Richard Marsland. Richard. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Richard. Uh, thrilling report. And Leon, thank you so much for dropping down to uh, the Get This Rally. Thank you so much. He's it's in the studio the, right now. I just want to say the zeitgeist has really spoken. Oh, keep it clean. Is that the right way to say it? I think it is because it, there was a, there was 200 people there. Yeah, it was wonderful. For, for a free crappy barbecue and they, yeah. they all really cared and I think it's really good when people care about uh, so an artistic endeavour that's been pushed out there. I really liked seeing you drunk on the power of having a megaphone. <laughs> I've never seen you look like that before. Yeah, I didn't realise people wanted me to do the Venga Bus song. They, I didn't realise that until I watched the tape back. There was a few chants of Venga Bus. I didn't know it. 
Yeah, that was. Uh, I liked Marsland for Mayor. Yeah, Marsland for Mayor was interesting. That's interest. probably yeah, a little. Uh, all me plums. All me plums. Oh, I think man. that's a little, so a little bit big. But thank you to Channel Thirty One to Leon. And we like to support our um, our down. fellow breakfast show. You, you yeah. know, you've called it. You are your favourite breakfast show host. Well, I mean, I think and I'm how only, could you not be? I'm only human. Yeah, totally. Now, Leon hey. is part of Hit TV, isn't he? Yeah, Leon's on about seven different Hit shows. Hit TV. On. Make sure you watch Hit TV. This good, show, good this show. Channel Thirty One doesn't run without <laughs> Leon. It's time for us to take a quick okay. break. When we come back, we're going to be checking in with the news headlines and Mr. Adam McKenzie. We'll see ya. There are now nine Facebook groups dedicating to saving our own very <laughs> Richard Marsland's radio program. Ooh. Get this. The program has recently been cancelled and support has never been higher on the internet with over 2,000 group members in total. It is possible, however, that it is actually the same small group of people making up members in every group. 